Hey guys, and welcome back to Clannad. So, let's just jump right back in. We arrive at the usual corner. Katomi stands still, and then lets out a breath. And there, she says the last farewell. Tomoya-kun, mata Tomoya-kun, see you tomorrow. She smiles as she says that. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Going back to her usual quick pace, she starts to walk. I watch her through the setting sun as her back disappears from my sight. The day was really tiresome. But I don't really feel bad about it. I also head to my home. My arms are stiffening. It feels like I'm still carrying a lot of bags. It seems Fujibayashi's fortune telling didn't come true. Alright, so we're on the 26th now. Yay! After school, as homeroom ends, I immediately leave the classroom. The cafeteria this Sunday is as crowded as always, so all the bread will be sold out quickly. I run down the stairs and turn to, the, uh, to a corner in the corridor. I come a little late, and as a result, there are plenty of students. I see Furukawa, who's holding a purse, aimlessly wandering about be, uh, behind the crowd. Oh, uh, Okazaki-san! Are you going to buy bread, too? Yes, as always! It's really crowded, huh? I was able to approach the counter a while ago, but... Alright, I'll cover you as you buy bread. I hound over my wallet, and then Furukawa honestly nods. I understand, let's try it! What kind of bread do you like, Okazaki-san? I'll leave it up to you. Katomi springs out of my mind as I answer. If possible, buy me some sweet and interesting bread. Interesting bread? Something like a roll. Or something you can divide. Or something that has a complex structure. Well, I'll try searching for it. Alright, go! Hi. Yes! We both climb the stairs as I carry a paper bag full of stuff. Inside are some tea packs and a heap of sweetened breads. <laughs> we ended up buying a lot! She did a good performance. Plenty of people will eat, so it's probably alright. It's been a while since I've walked together with Furukawa like this. Someone's already inside the drama club as we arrive. Osoi! You're late! A voice I've got used to hearing suddenly jumps out at us as we enter the room. Fujibayashi and Katomi are also sitting on chairs inside, waiting. That's because you guys are too early. Hey, wait a second. What in the world is that? I suddenly yell as I look at the thing on the table. Obento. Box lunch. Obento. A very delicious box lunch. No I made it myself. Well, I can tell just by looking, but it's a bit too much. There are plenty of, bo of lunch boxes on top of the table. As if it were New Year's Eve. The first box has the side dishes. The second box has grilled foods, and the third has boiled ones. Even the food's something you'd see during New Year's holiday. Oh god. Katomi, no! The herring roe has many eggs, so it holds its thriving, uh, thriving descendants' feelings. The lobster has whiskers that bend up to the hips. That's why it symbolizes hope for long life. And herring rolled in a carp symbolizes parents happily embracing each other. 
She's blessing me away with the great amount of knowledge she has. Kuromame is like being mame-mame uh, shiku hat uh, hataraku. It is truly a mama chi chishiki. I don't know how many tens of thousands of times this has been used in New Year or in a New Year's dinner party, but this is the traditional Japanese gag. Anyway, wouldn't a banquet for New Year's Eve last uh, last a couple of days for a single family? No matter how you look at it, the amount is so unbelievable. Katomi, well, she was surely thinking about the menu yesterday, and she got so excited that she didn't know what to do anymore. This is a very joyous event. That joyous event is only in your head. It's alright. At least I can understand how she feels. She made this much, so don't you think you're quite or quite lucky to be a guy? Kyo, in complete stranger mode. I think she must have made a little mistake in the amount. Um, you're right, I made a little mistake. You made it in the wrong season, too. It's just April, you know. It looks like a New Year's Day! This is really exciting! And it looks so delicious! Well, I... I made it with all my heart. That's why. Best wishes to everyone. Yes, best wishes to Katomi-chan! Best wishes for me as well! The only three who think it's New Year's Eve lift the atmosphere for the time being. I put the paper bag with a heap of oolong tea and sweetened buns on the top of the table. Well, we also need to eat these as well. By the way, I'm on a diet, so I won't eat too much, alright? That's the first time I heard something like that from you. I started five minutes ago. Traitor. Alright now, you take a seat too, Miss President. Yes, thank you very much. Furukawa takes a seat, as Kyo suggested. It's as if their position is completely reversed, but she doesn't seem to be thinking badly about it. Well then, here are the chopsticks. She hands out the chopsticks from the paper bag to everyone, stretching her arm out. Please join your hands together. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> yes, yes. Please take care of me this year. Me too. For various reasons. Hey, there's still stuff left. But I'm a young girl on a diet. Do you plan to make me eat more? Actually, you can definitely gain three kilos by eating in just an hour. In the end, the only empty lunch boxes were Kyo and Fujibayashi's, and there are plenty of New Year's Eve bread still left. You can do it, Furukawa. My own, whoops. <laughs> My own body feels heavy. It feels like the chair will collapse. Fight, Fujibayashi. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm really already full. Katomi? I... 
have had enough for my brain to fully function. No matter what, your character is going to be the same anyway. We ate too much of this New Year's feast, and everyone seems to be in trouble. Well, would everyone like to have black tea? I'll drink some. Kotomi slowly removes the thermos cover. The steam together with the aroma escapes as she pours it into a paper cup. The five of us begin to sip our black tea. Hey, don't you have anything here that we can have fun with after filling our stomachs, Miss President? Um, what kind of thing do you mean? Something we can play on a table. Furukawa looks around. There's a magic wand, though that's a prop. Hey, does that look like a table game? I'm sorry. Fujibayashi, you have playing cards if I'm correct. Yes, I have. She immediately pulls them out from her uniform. She slowly puts the cards on her hand. Um, what kind of fortune telling you want me to do? That's not what I mean. Can we borrow it so we can play? What are we going to play? Kyo started writing in this too. I don't really play cards that much. Tell me what games you know. Like memory? It's best we don't play something that needs to memorize things. I indirectly say it because it's kind of an advantage to someone. How about poker? Everyone knows the rules, right? Yes, I think I know how to play it. In poker, there's hold'em, stud poker, and draw poker. Just go with some simple rules, okay? Hold or hand it over, Ryo. She takes the cards away from her and shuffles them. Then she deals out five card uh, hands to everyone. Well, what's your bet? Suddenly saying that now? On top of the table, there are New Year's Eve banquet and the playing cards. The only thing missing are the kotatsu and the oranges. She scoops up some leftover mashed, uh, mashed sweet potatoes with chestnuts, using her finger and puts it in her mouth. You really are incredible. Sweet things go through a different stomach. I'm going to change one card. Um, I'll change two cards. I'll change one card. Okay, okay, okay. Kyo deals the cards with her flexible hands. Well, I'm going to change one card. Oh, I think I'll have this game again. I, I'm folding my hand here. Me too. Kotomi also folds her hand. Anyway, you three are not even fighting back. But it's fun enough just watching Onei-chan and Okazaki-kun. Furukawa nods beside her. Uh, speaking of which, are you really sure? I wouldn't care even if you regret it, all right? I can't back out now, you know. Well then, I'll raise by ten. G hey, hey, if you want to fold, now is the right time. 
I call. Aww. You're noisy, so I win. Three jacks. <laughs> it's a bluff. Hey, what the hell? A bluff? It was a bluff? It's amazing that you raised the bed despite it being a bluff. Kyo-chan, were you really bluffing? That's right. The only stubborn person here who would drag the game further with the bluff is her. She's being showered with praises as she stretches her hands to get the mashed sweet potato with chestnut. She suddenly stops as if she realizes something. What? If every if everyone has something to say, then hurry up and say it. Calm down. Um, Katomi-chan, it seems like you're not feeling well. Hmm? That's true. She looks like she's been kind of absent-minded for a while now. Is your stomach aching? No, that's not it. Well, she finally starts t uh, talking as everyone watches her. I have a book I need to return today. What? All you need to do is just mail it while you're on the way home. It's not the school's library book, but a book from the prefectural library. Eh? <laughs> That place is quite far. Today is Saturday, so you might not reach it even by train. It's alright to be one day overdue, isn't it? Though Fujibayashi and Kyo say so, Kotomi swiftly shakes her head. A person might be waiting for this too. Not being able to read the books you want is really, really sad. I... I think I also understand how you feel. Yes. If that's so, you should have said that from the beginning. Kotomi can't do anything but just hang her head. She looks like a kid being blamed for a prank. Oh, jeez. Rummaging through her hair, Kyo stands up. It's all right. Just hurry up and go. Okay, but I haven't put away my things yet. She looks at the messy table as she hesitates. If you think so, then why don't you carry the bread? We can't really clean that up. Kyo selfishly opens Kotomi's bag and stuffs the bread inside. Are you her aunt? Well, I'll bring home Kotomi-chan's lunchboxes and wash them. And then you'll leave them here, so she can always come back and or come and take them, right? Yes, the drama club room is always open, too. And I'm definitely here after school. Furukawa smiles sweetly at Katomi, who is hesitating and slowly pushes uh, her by the shoulder. Katomi looks more determined after that. Well, I'll be going home before everyone. I'll leave my lunch boxes here then. Yes, yes, leave it to us. And listen well, alright? You don't have to force yourself to hang up or hang with us if 
it will give you problems. Not just today, but any time we meet, okay? We won't run or hide from you. Uh, it's not like Katomi's here for a duel or anything. See you then, Katomi-chan. And let's eat lunch together again. I'll make a box lunch too the next time. Well... She firmly holds her bag, which is filled with books and sweetened breads. And I am all out of time for this episode, guys! So I really hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye